Hey guys, this is uh, Random Stuff with Alex Hughes. Uh, so today is, I think might be three weeks of trying to tie up some loose ends. So guys, I'm trying to fix my hair. Um, and so, yeah, three weeks of just trying to really focus on some stuff that I kind of was putting aside procrastinating on. Um, and kind of stuff that was a little bit overwhelming, you know, just to think about in terms of the amount of stuff needed to get done. So I ended up, uh, so what I did was, um, so let's see. Yeah, I ended up, uh, I woke up this morning. Um, I did my meditation um, in the morning, jumping jacks. And then I didn't have too much of a smoothie this morning. It was actually a lot of yogurt. Um, so it was almost like a, a yogurt. I need to get some more fresh produce because I've used it all up. And the fruit that we do have wouldn't really taste um, too good in a smoothie. Um, so I need to get some more uh, fruits. But I did have um, some of the rice. I've actually been eating that throughout the week. And in addition to the rice, I've also been eating the, um, what is it, the rice. And uh, I think I had a bagel this morning, which was great, you know, with some peanut butter. I finished my peanut butter and I realized I got to get some more at Walmart. Um, so I uh, went on a walk this morning and I didn't need a button up because the temperature was pretty decent. I um, ended up walking over to the high school. I felt pretty mindful in the morning, you know, pretty much able to focus. I just kind of have this affirmation that I say to myself, like the only pros the only moment that matters is now and so all the stuff that I see that doesn't exist it doesn't exist or the past doesn't exist you know these memories from like 10 years ago like why am I worrying about stuff from 10 years ago why am I you know wasting any of my mental energy on that or something in the future which doesn't even exist I mean the future doesn't exist I mean anything could happen so I mean I think resting with that uncertainty is is pretty powerful but it takes a lot of mental training and I keep telling myself the cycle is over the cycle is over um, you know with the uh, rumination uh, a lot of times I tend to have one thought or one I guess theme that just kind of repeats itself over and over again um, I train my brain to do that so it's all about trying to tell myself like the cycle is gone um, because it is, I mean, I figured out the truth. I don't have to argue with my thoughts because, well, there's no arguing going on. It's just me. Basically, it's just me and myself. So there's only one person, just me. <laughs> there's not two people. And I think that that was something I trained myself to do. Um, probably out of maybe loneliness, you know, where I would just argue with myself and it was like, oh, there's another person. But the reality was there was never any other person. It was just me, just me, myself, and I literally arguing with nobody. And it's, it's just, I guess, hard to grasp because when you do something for so long, you realize like, wow, I can't believe I, I've been just arguing with myself if there's only one person then I'm the only person in control so I can be like actually no um, but I think it's just trying to grasp that concept after you know obsessing uh, or just ruminating for the, all these years you know just trying to understand that like I don't have to argue with myself because there's nobody else in my brain and I think it's just the neural pathways that have kind of been entrenched in my brain for the last several years so it's all about trying to break down those neuro pathways and it's definitely going to take a significant amount of time to do that because of uh, all the training I did in a negative sense so um, overall um, that's what I kept reminding myself came back and I felt like the practice this morning was pretty good I had a very the meditation that I had was very weird, to say the least. Um, it was wasn't really something that I I don't know I I didn't really care too much for the meditation this morning, but I still was able to relax pretty well. 
and um, I had uh, my face mask, which, like I said, is working wonders. And then I ended up. Um, what did I do? Oh yeah, it was it was kind of different this morning. Usually I don't work on homework at home. Um, at least for this semester, I've kind of had the benefit of actually finishing it at school. Um, and even I've done most of my homework. I think recently I decided to do at uh, school where I can focus more. Um, and I don't really tend to bring a lot home. Um, but yeah, I was actually working on homework at home. And you know what the cool thing was with the quiz that I had, it actually, the awesome, yeah, the awesome thing was that, um, there was actually a check-in for my business communication class and I had forgotten to do that. I didn't, I don't remember seeing it. And then what was awesome was I went back in and the due date was extended. So I was like, awesome. And, um, so I got the points for that, which was great. And then I ended up writing a response to one of the discussions uh, that was there, um, which was about, uh, I guess, a situation that would happen in office. Like if somebody was of a dominant, uh, they had a dominant uh, way of doing things, um, what would you do? You know, what would you, how would you address that? Like you're a new manager, you come in, and how would you do that? So for me, I mean, the way I responded, um, initially, I was kind of just thinking about the situation because I don't know if I've ever had that before. Um, but I had, at first, I was like, you know, you tell the person you're the boss. And what I say, that's authoritarian. It's like, you know, what I say goes. So, you know, you can't really walk up to your boss and just tell them, we're not going to do this because that means you're fired. <laughs> um, but I think I was just... Um, kind of just thought of different other ways I could react. And another way was more of like a, a understanding, like why do you believe that this isn't going to work? And so it's all about kind of explaining, like this is why I thought it would work. And so you kind of give data and you give ideas. Um, and so actually what happened was I was putting in the comment section and I click there's a button on my mouse that goes back in the browser and so I click the back button and I was like oh man I just lost it <laughs> and I've had that I was like I gotta save it onto um a document like you know uh wordpad or something like that but that was definitely something I had to be like oh my goodness I <laughs> I had to retype it again it wasn't that bad I think it was just mainly focus being um in a more I guess stationary position at home where um, I'd say for the last couple months or so, actually a few months, I've been a lot more on the go. Yeah, since the summer, you know, I haven't really been sitting down too much and doing something that requires a lot of, I guess, mental work. So I definitely noticed a little bit of antsiness, you know, sitting at my desk and actually typing and thinking like that. Because a lot of the work I do doesn't really require a lot of that higher level of thinking, you know, in terms of like, oh, checking my Instagram or following other people. It, it's not really a lot of thinking. It's just, it's pretty simple work. Um, so actually sitting down and it, I got kind of antsy and um, I noticed that feeling within myself, but I was able to focus and because it wasn't actually very long um, because once I get back from my walk, I do meditation, I do yoga. I don't really have too much time before I go. Um, and that's, that's normal. Like for me, I've, I mean, before I used to leave even earlier, like when I had morning classes. So, I mean, this isn't really anything too surprising. I'm actually kind of nice. It's glad, to, I'm glad to be able to leave later because the temperature is a lot higher and, um, it gives me time to actually do uh, my routine in the morning because I wasn't able to do that before where, you know, I would have to leave around like 8 o'clock or 7.30, 8 o'clock in the morning, and I didn't have time to do yoga or meditation, so I kind of rushed through the morning. Heck, I, there was a time when I wasn't even looking at my mental health wall, so I'd be like rushing out, you know, because I had a job, and and so I kind of, I left that at the back burner because I told myself, oh, it's not, ah, oh, it's not that important. And then, yeah, that's that's definitely not good. Mental health is huge because that's basically all there is. Um, but yeah, I'm just so glad that this semester I've actually prioritized 
having a routine in the morning that allows me to take care of myself and to not rush around so much because without it I'd be I mean I just kind of put everything onto the back burner and be like oh it doesn't really matter um, but um, yeah so I'm definitely glad to leave later um, and have the time in the morning to actually take care of myself because that's super important um, and so beyond that yeah I had my lunch um, which was the rest of the smoothie and it was kind of weird not to have a pancake I've been making a pancake like four days this week or so but I just had some two pieces of bread, threw that in the in the smoothie, and uh, it's actually pretty tasty. And then I had the Spanish rice, been finishing that throughout the week. And I, uh, of course, had my, I think it was my tribulus, which tastes pretty bitter. But I don't know if I've noticed any benefit from tribulus um, besides the flavor. Um, you know, it's supposed to be good for men. Um but, uh, yeah, I've been taking that for the last maybe month or so. Um, but, yeah, I ended up going on the bus. And I, uh, what was I doing on the bus? Oh, I was looking for jobs. It was great because I was looking at Google Jobs. There's so many, like, I saved, like, 50 jobs. And I was like, wow, all these jobs. Like, these are the positions I want, like, front office, receptionist. And I was like, and they're local and you're not asking too many like requirements and so I saved a lot of jobs and so I ended up um, not only saving the jobs but uh, yeah I didn't do too much because I was on the bus but I got to Vista Transit um, I took the Sprinter over to um, uh, Planet Fitness and I realized I had some homework to do um, there was some there was a discussion board due today so before I went to a workout I ended up uh, working on my uh, discussion board and I commented this one was Amy Cuddy and the body language which I learned about actually uh, when I first started the self transformation journey and yeah four years ago um, and so I, what I like about her is how she mentions that body language is so powerful that you can change your brain basically so you can change the way you feel simply by your body language and I definitely realized that um, several times over the years when I was doing a presentation, you know, um, just like how do I present myself on stage and how do I, um, how do I become more confident? And so I totally agree with her. I, I really like her presentation. Um, there's the super woman or wonder woman pose. And um, she said, you do that for two minutes and then you feel more confident. And um, I do agree that body language is super important. Like, um, you know, spreading yourself out and uh, taking up more space and just being more confident in public um, because you got to be conscious of that. If you're not conscious of that, you know, you're going to just revert to what your normal state is and, you, yeah, you just got to be really aware. So uh, besides that with Amy Cuddy, um, I ended up, uh, yeah, I did the response, which wasn't, was actually pretty easy. Um, and I did about 20 minutes of a workout, of course, doing uh, bicep curls. And I was doing research on uh, Cal State San Marcos and, you know, internships and, um, you know, like different societies there. Because I'm, I'm really getting into I finally felt like I'm actually in the groove of looking for a job, being serious about my career development. Because I'll be honest with you guys, like, I it felt like a lot of work, to be honest, like, earlier, you know, earlier, uh, you know, like this year, I just, I didn't, I felt like it was a lot of work to, you know, oh, go on LinkedIn, update the site, and, and so now I feel really motivated. I think that was because, you know, just taking a break over the summer and just really being like, I really got to work on myself, you know, just kept telling myself that, like, I really got to work on myself, and so finally, you know, I feel motivated, because that's number one goal this year is, money and um it might uh, in a sense i gotta save up i gotta go back to cal state san marcos like my degree like i wanted to graduate in 2021 and the reality is 2021 is coming up so it's like i gotta graduate um so that's why i'm really taking it seriously now <laughs> and um so yeah i was doing research on that um did my workout i uh, got my smoothie uh bolt house farms and then i took the bus over to Maricosta 
And then I basically focus on jobs. A lot of the jobs, though, I was looking at the employer sites. I didn't see the job postings, which makes me think that some of those jobs are scams. And so I ended up just making sure before I start sending information, um, sending it to the employer, asking, like, is this an actual job position? So beyond that job position, like asking them, I ended up also, um, so job positions, I sent, I applied to a couple jobs and then I went on LinkedIn to connect with a uh, network, networking, um, through LinkedIn, asking questions. Uh, it's funny, LinkedIn thought I was, uh, some headhunter. It's like the reality is, yeah, it's like, I'm not a headhunter. I'm just trying to network with people and, um, find jobs, you know? And beyond that, I ended up um, looking at my Gmail. I decided to go to Walmart. I actually got, uh, I basically refilled what I had, ashwagandha, calcium. Um, I got a protein powder made from peanut powder, which is really cool. I saw that at Walmart um, when I was getting into, uh, you know, checking out supplements for uh, my uh, mental health and whatnot. And um, so, yeah, I got that. And then I ended up coming back. Um Overall, today I felt pretty focused in the present moment. Like I said, baseline, um, I've got it's so much more calmer. I'm so much more focused in the present moment. Like it's gone down significantly in terms of the anxiety, and I feel like I've gotten to the point where I've controlled my amygdala, so it's not firing all those kind of stress cortisol hormones. I think it's just all about keeping it up. It's a practice, and so eventually I'm going to get to the point where I can literally delete the thoughts completely and they won't bother me anymore. I'll have 100% control. So I think that um, today I was mindful of the cycle. Um, I, I just kept telling myself, you know, that the cycle's over with, the cycle's over with. And I feel like it is working. Um, and beyond the cycle, um, I did feel like I had a good amount of uh, uh, news for the job search because I found a lot. So... I'll see you guys tomorrow and have a good day.